to Wed Bush's Moshe Katri joins us now on the CNBC Newsline. Good morning. Hey, good morning. Good to be here. Yeah, so we we're just talking about the structural challenges that IBM has had with legacy business. What kind of a statement, what kind of changes do you expect uh, from Arvind Krishna uh, potentially to, to focus on those things? So a, a couple of things to focus on here, uh, as you indicated, uh, after, I mean, the way we see it, after seven years, after spending about $60 billion on acquisition, that never really materialized as what we call life-changing events for the company. Uh, we've definitely seen muted financial metrics uh, and very inconsistent financial metrics with about 70% of the revenue base still kind of stuck in a, a very much legacy-based model, both in software and services. Um, so, it, you know, obviously the changes are making some pretty big bets on Red Hat's ability to transition the company. But even more importantly here, you really need to, to, to decide what you want to do with that legacy business. Now, when we talk about legacy, we're talking more about, uh, on the services side, we're talking about you know, capital and people intensive based models. And based on some of the new technologies, you know, software, uh, especially uh, cloud, mobile, social, analytics, all that is actually transitioning more to people and asset light models. Uh, so that's one thing that they need to do with the existing legacy services base. Uh, you can look at the software base as well. Uh, a lot of that is being delivered via physical infrastructure, not via a cloud base or a rental base model. That also needs to change. So these are some very, very difficult changes to implement if you think about this, because you're essentially going to cannibalize your revenue base. Um, so you go to your customer and say, look, um, you know, this project or this piece of software costs about a hundred bucks. Using some of the new technologies, I'm going to charge you 30, but then in return, I'm going to ask you to give me a larger portion of your IT spend. This is probably the only formula that that transition will be able to actually work down the road. And the only company in our large cap universe that's been able to do that successfully is Accenture. They started doing that six, seven years ago. And today, uh, the, the new, or what we call SMAC, which stands for Social, Mobile, Analytics, and Cloud, accounts for 60% of the revenue base. So if you think about this, legacy typically shrinks by about 5 to 10% a year. Digital grows north of 10% a year. You do the math, that's how you get to, you know, barely flat revenues or shrinking revenues at IBM. So it's all about mm. trying to shift that mix more towards digital and try to shift the delivery of the legacy base into some of the new, newer technology delivery models.